All right, today I'm here with Tim Williams with Redmond. We are just down at the Redmond Dealer Conference. And Tim, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background and connection, how you ended up getting connected with Redmond? Sure. I have been involved with soil health for about 15 years now. I was with a soil health company previously for 12 years, and I've been with Redmond for about two years now. So I learned about healthy soil management practices and learned about conventional fertilizers, organic fertilizers, biological fertilizers, and now I've learned with Redmond how the Redmond ancient sea salt and the Redmond volcanic uh, ash clay conditioner fits into that whole concept of healthy soil management practices. So with the Redmond, what have you kind of discovered here over the last couple of years that you've been working with them as far as that soil health and, and um, I guess what have, has been the inter interesting parts and surprising parts that you've, you've heard? Well, I've had a couple aha moments as I like to call them, but uh, one of the interesting things is uh, historically we've been using this um, ancient sea salt and uh, volcanic ash clay conditioner, conditioner is our trade name for it, We've been using that in livestock nutrition. And um, so it seems like a lot of the benefits that we see in the nutrition side, we're also seeing on the soil side and really hasn't surprised me totally because in soil, you're really working with a living system as well. You don't have, in the soil, you have livestock in the soil is what you have. So a couple of the key benefits that we're seeing is uh, with uh, Redmond Salt and Conditioner, you're getting 60 plus minerals that are perfectly balanced by nature or by our creator. I like to call them creator chelated is the, the phrase I like, like to use. So they're highly available, highly balanced, and a lot of soil today are depleted of minerals just from the... Um, all the different practices of today, the yield increases because of improved genetics, those types of things. So the big benefits we're seeing is from those minerals, we're seeing um, higher feed quality in alfalfa, in pasture, grass, corn silage, uh, grains, vegetables, and what we've uh, been doing, we've been doing field research trials probably over the last seven years, mainly on grass and alfalfa. And now this last year we did private research as well on grass, corn silage, and alfalfa. So we see this improved feed quality, and then we also see a yield bump as well that goes along with it. So obviously there's a value to that for livestock producers when you get higher feed quality, right. you're going to get a return on that investment. How to do to health, just due to um, better production in crops, you know, you're going to also be able to, to meet um, the crops going to be able to express its genetic potential as well. One of the big things we see on pastures is just more flavor. It's kind of like putting good salt on a good steak, as long as you put the right amount on, that steak is even going to taste better, right? Huh. But if you put too much on, you won't even want to eat that steak. So the balance part of it is just crucial. Just like with any fertilizer, even if it's just N, P, and K, it's really important to have the, have the balance part of it. So soil tests play into that, history of the farm play into that. Uh, many different things that the farmer has been doing historically plays into that soil type as well. So we look at all those things, but basically we use a blend of the, uh, the salt and the conditioner. The conditioner is 65% in the blend and the salt is 35%. And it seems like the sweet spot, what we're seeing is about 150 to 300 pounds an acre. So on these different tests that you've been doing, um, has has Redmond salt and conditioner volcanic ash in the sea mineral 
um, expressed some improvement kind of a, across the board or has there been some um, how, how is it kind of yeah basically we we've, we've looked at our salt alone and then we've looked at manure alone and then we've looked at a couple hundred pounds of our conditioner we've looked at a typical industry NP and K program and any of the treatments that have the SR65 in it, we are seeing improved um, relative feed value, improved total digestible nutrients. On corn silage, we saw a big bump in the starch. One of our treatments, we were up to 44, a starch of 44, which is really, really good. And these are replicated trials and private research firm. Mm -hmm. And we have that all that information all available. That's awesome. So we're, I guess, in your position now, you're about two years in with, with Redmond. Where do you yeah. kind of see it going um, from here as you move forward? Well, we're Redmond. continuing to do research uh, for this year. So we keep zeroing in more and more. We kind of feel we're hitting the target, but we want to keep going after hitting the bullseye. So we're tightening up our rates, tightening up, trying some different blends. Wow adding a few other products with it, we're gonna to continue to do research. And one of the other things we see is farms that have decent soil uh, fertility and uh, decent, uh, you know, with NP and K and enough manure on it, we have a lot of farmers that are only putting on a couple hundred pounds of SR65. That's all their program and they're maintaining the fertility levels and the levels in their forages as well. So that, I've been really impressed with that. Well, that's great. Well, thanks so much, Tim, and we're really excited to connect more with you here at AgriBest Feeds and um, yeah, being able to kind of get more production on the same uh, land there, kind of help support. I yep. love that maximizing the genetic potential there yeah. on the cattle is what we aim for, but able to do that on the plant as well, whether it's crop or hay ground. And um, I appreciate your spending your time uh, today and taking care of us down here when we were down visiting Redmond. Yeah, thanks for coming and I'm excited to continue to work with you.